150s. So um, wait, you, guys, you don't, you don't, no, I mean, don't, re don't redeem them from the battle pass. No, I know. You can but just the happily sit ends there until you need them. Three. It ends yes. on the 24th. So um, that means that Hugo is presently that? giving me uh, light cruiser. 822 percent research. God. That guy, the heavy cruiser. Uh, he's or turning. I think it's a Baltimore, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's well, a Baltimore. No, well, there's like a Furutaka or something, and then there's a Cleveland. That's a light cruiser. The Cleveland on the left, and then there's a Furutaka to its right. If you mean Martian is a Cleve, <coughs> or possibly a Helena, I can't. Now to cleave, I can see the middle five inch. And yeah, then, so yeah, for a time. Something funky was going on with the uh, damage model when I was trying it out yesterday. Yeah, Stug's moaning about it. Not sure quite <coughs> how placebo -y it is. I don't know, but... Oh, oh, there's a much easier target. What's that? Is that a Furutaka? Yeah. The one immediately to the right of the Cleveland. Yeah. Well, I've already got the Cleveland ranged in, so I'm going to slap it one. You see you've got a better angle on him. I'm like, bow on to the Cleveland. Hmm. I say I've got him ranged, and he keeps... he's serpentining. He knows what he's doing. Three salvos I've landed directly next to him. If I can just score a hit on this Cleveland. Okay, that's my last salvo I'm gonna fire at it. I'm gonna swap to this Kirov. No, yeah. Actually, that's not a Kirov, that's a Chapayev. And a Furutaka. Yeah, same yes. thing. Oh, we've got some AL-300. Who else we got? Okay, never mind. I actually hit that Cleveland this time. It's kind of concerning when you recognize, like, some people all the time. You just use an HE. Yeah. <coughs> so it does seem to basically be not doing anything to the Cleveland, which is weird. Well, I mean, he's flooding actually, quite badly. Oh, oh good, you got the chaffer. Oh god, yeah, that guy's sinking the like, fuck. He's listing about 20 degrees. Well, another and salvo. He's going down. He's the, he's a wa his decks a wash. I can see that, which is why I'm firing uh, another salvo. Let's fire at someone else. Yeah, flooding is now not just quicker at low level, but quicker overall. Yay! Anyway, um, Furutaka. Can't see him. He's in the smoke. Yep. You can't see him. I well, can't lock him. I just did. Uh, smoke's popping away now. We oh, will have oh. to pay attention to stuff he in just front of us soon. Cleveland just respawned. In a Brooklyn or Helena. <coughs> but the Furutaka is now emerging. There's a load of smoke. torps like here. They're probably lances. Probably Heading sort of my way. <laughs> I was going to make a joke of, do you have regrets? 
Um, you'll get it. Not a Sinatra fan? Not vastly. I thought you were making a Halo reference. No. The first line of the second verse is regrets I've had a few after the last line of the first verse is I did it my way. Oh yeah. God, I still remember that time when you just listened to about 50 versions of it. Oh, don't worry, I've been listening to the Evangelion soundtrack in the shower and it just gets to the point of here are... That's kind of disturbing. It's great in the dark. Like a um, yeah, isn't a lot of it about sort of weird liquids and stuff? I don't know, most of it is like... Angel blood. Lost music. <laughs> um, but then you get to the point in the soundtrack where it's just... Here's 12 different versions of Fly Me to the Moon back to back. Oh, oh, I think I got my sink now. Well, he if was I hit listing, him with the salvo, and then I just hit him with the salvo. Gone. I mean, he was listing, and then I hit him with the salvo, and now his deck's a wash. Hmm. This is dumb. This is so fucking dumb. Yeah. Oh, his forward magazine is just gone. It's just like, I've shattered your ship with HG. Well, to be He's fair, straight into the enemy. HE is what you're supposed to use against cruisers with this thing. Furutaka, okay. can I hit him? Furutaka. Oh, I shock. Yeah. I should really do something huh. about these torpedoes. I'm um, going straight towards. I did warn you about the torpedoes. Uh, no, that's not what I'm umming about. What are you warming about? Just informing Opsy that Lance's work now. <laughs> like, what happened? I took a single torpedo and the ship sank. I I'm tempted to hit these ones now. Don't, don't, no, no. You yeah, what to see. I hit a single Lance and it said, Vessel destroyed. Where did it hit you? Uh, like, square midships. As in, under the funnels place where, when I was testing with Opti, we discovered that they did nothing. They haven't changed the files. The enemy is winning. Now oh, you've got a few regrets. Haha. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say one was any kind of confirmation. But... Well, the fact that I serve that when testing this against Opti's Huga, he survived like six easily. <sighs> I think that Baltimore over there might be an IRA fan. Oh, what's he called? Little Armalite. Uh, you might have to explain that one. <sighs> That's another song. Oh. The IRA were some quite famous or for using uh, AR-18s. Ah. Uh. Oh, right, I get it. Everyone's shooting at me. I'm doing my uh, best impression of a U HMS Dreadnought. What, charging headlong into the enemy while screaming? Yep. I should probably repair that turret. In that case, you're doing a perfect impression of HMS Mel Gibson. But, I mean, you keep making references I don't understand. I feel out of touch. Oh, well, that's more well I got some hits. I don't know how much damage I did, but now he's sinking. 
This is weird. Just hit him with HE, do a bit of damage, and then they just sink. Oh god, something uh, did a lot of damage. Well, there are two battleships in front of you. Let's probably shoot some of them. Yeah. That's At least why I'm shooting. Get turret faces towards them a bit. Yeah, hard, like, I don't think I damaged that guy that much crew wise, but he just sunk. This is just. Weird, it feels so different. Well, she says I don't they think haven't this changed uh, DMs, but something's different. I mean, for all we know, they've improved or made worse their tick rate or something. When you're charging in, make sure you kill the guys with torpedoes first. Mm. <coughs> you're being sprayed that last on turret, the right. That last turret on Hugh is a bit of a bugger. Get it on target. We're about to have a full squad. Huh? <laughs> We're about to have a full squad. What does Opti want to play or something? Well, Kaka wants to play ships, and Opti says, I have Maria. Ooh. You have to hit below, like, near the waterline to shatter them and make them sink. Hmm. I should probably get that final turret in. You know what? I'm just gonna slap that Chapayev that's like inside you. One of them's sinking quite rapidly. Uh, There's the a one, Chapayev. That one. You're about to ram him. Oh yeah, wait, no. Sorry, no. he's perpendicular. Oh, there we go. Magazine detonation. Thank you. He was kind of worrying. And then... Magazine detonation, you say? Yeah. <laughs> this is fucking stupid! I know. <laughs> it's um, running in against three cruisers! Detonating them! I'm like 24% health, but I've killed like five cruisers. Oh, that West Fallen that I shot like three minutes ago just exploded. This is fucking How dumb. They've buggered something up. They've done something. Uh, everything just it. I think it. It's got they've a just, sinking thing. You know how they keep making everything hyper lethal. You just hit something with HE and then it just sinks. There hasn't actually been any changes to the damage model. They changed there was, something there was with that flooding, flooding change. Everything floods really, really quickly now. And it basically just means I can slap a salvo at any cruiser and it disintegrates. Well, that's interesting. I'll have that pack. Last I checked, the only changes were to CDK textures, but that can be just, you know, this is 2.3.0.110. Okay, but like, I don't think anything changed. I, I, I... We're on 110, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, yeah. the texture changes, by the way, are on 1.4 right now, so. 
I don't think that they changed anything. Um, I give it a look, but I don't think. Uh, I mean, in theory, the HE thing has always been around because armor yeah, and but crew are the same thing. I've not sunk a battleship by doing non lethal damage and just lobbing two HE salvos at it before. Oh, we had some weirdness with the Italians last night as well. It's like the um, Barto was just face tanking every single thing you could throw at oh, it. Wait, do you mean Hugo Yeah. Oh, that's absolutely gonna do the job. Um, that no, I know, but it hasn't is... been. I've had battleship kills with Hugo using HG only against. Yeah, I have so... as well, but it's not been just lob two salvos, hurt nothing important, and then the ship sinks. Oh, oh, that's. I feel like that's flooding. <laughs> yeah, because oh. they've messed with flooding. No, 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 flooding hasn't been changed. That they literally that. said they've changed flooding yesterday in the dev in the patch notes. Flooding, interesting. Well, then it might be an engine change because it's not the actual files, meaning that how the game processes flooding is different. Yeah, because basically they just said like that made it much faster. Yeah, flooding is now supposed to be super, super duper scary mode. Oh, nice. Like the, I, uh, I literally haven't even made that report yet, and they already did that. <laughs> the patch notes say they made it better, like under ten percent. But I think they just made it better for everything. That might be. It. Maybe they fucking. Uh, maybe they messed with the coefficient or something. I. <laughs> well, suffice to say, I've successfully capsized oh, two American light cruisers. Oh, and I just got kamikaze by a Stuka. Oh, that's kind of hilarious. Okay, I will. I got my money line up. This is such a nice lineup. This is going to like, be hilarious. Yeah, the Barto versus, like, we were playing in a tournament yesterday, and the Barto just absorbed every single shell and ember fired at it in the front. That is very interesting. It Can took I no damage. Anything without being oh, set on fire immediately afterwards. What's your fire prevention skill level? Eight. Maybe. I don't know about fire prevention. I know my fire, fire damage yeah, control is. stuff is 8. Okay, the fire prevention is also very important. Um, it's such a tiny percentage, though. I don't know, that's a scaling factor. It, it, it doesn't look like much, but that's per fragment per hit. Per, it, it scales for everything. And right. the it's way that fire rating much. works is that fire rating typically runs in the brackets of like 2 to 3% in the first place. So if you ace out your fire chance, you're cutting off anything from order three quarters, or rather half to about three quarters of the fire jet. Yeah. Uh, it's, oh, it's that's of, pretty good. It's Yeah, it's, it's very powerful. Is um, it just for the engine room, or is it for any fire? As far as I'm aware, it's literally for everything. Well, it does so, say I'm just sure I heard someone room. say it was just engine room. Well, it says it just might. engine room. Um, from my yeah, mind, but you know what that means. such a valuable asset, because it basically just drops the percentage. It, it cuts into fire rating. Dramatically, are you, right? Are you uh, really quiet, Opti? I can only hear you. It is 3 a.m., so I don't want to wake too. too oh, late. okay, that, yeah. That's yeah. Fine. Don't worry, I can just bump you up a bit. I can't bump him up much more than I have him. I've got 120. I will be getting louder in about three hours or so, so just. Air oh, when you're me. screaming with the light at the dev stream. Are you just... I don't know about the light. <laughs> like, yay! Chips! <laughs> I mean, oh god, are you ready for the... <laughs> Glad you got the Hugo, Jorum. That is a good job getting your foot in the door, you know? Yeah, like... I got Hugo for a reason. <laughs> Fair. Mostly because yeah. Nordak is pointless. Nordak's also getting adjustments, I mean, you know. Yeah, but still. Oh, Fair. oh. Yeah. You're recording this much, Jorum. Yeah. Um, I mean, at this point... Opti like... has not said anything. Yeah, I mean, this is also fine. I, I'm gonna have to ask someone about that, but apparently we're supposed to be a bit more transparent about our bundle reports now. I don't know how, because there's no feedback section after we document it, so... You're supposed to be transparent about bug reports when you aren't told anything. Uh, basically, so you know how on the Russian uh... side, they tell people uh, when, when a bug is gonna get fixed, how a bug's gonna get fixed, right? Part of what they do in the documentation of the report, or the archival report, is they will say, bug will be fixed in the next patch or something like that, right? Okay, yeah. they actually tell you that. Yep, yeah. that's, that's actually quite nice. Uh, yeah. 
gonna have to ask him again because I completely forgot about what the cinematic meeting just passed me by. <laughs> you know, in one ear at the other. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, we did talk about it in transparency as a part of like the, either the general direction of the forums or like part of what the reforms are gonna do. I don't know how the current reforms have any bearing on transparency mm. and follow up because there's no section for that and there's no guidelines that state that. But I'm kind of in the position right now where I'm thinking it's sort of okay to talk about like fixed bugs for the next patch to an extent. Right, I don't want to be too specific and I still want to like not Spes talk about bugs that may result in controversy. Fixed like, bugs is probably yeah. better than going new vehicle because that's something you're definitely not supposed to talk about. Stuff anyway, so yeah. Like anything is just like at the core of it. Um, I, I, I hopefully there'll be more freedom on my end to talk about this stuff because it is. I'm gonna go so, so bad. Oh, they have started addressing the gun angles, but I don't know whether yeah. they're gonna actually fix that. Because I hate it so much. Okay, suffice to say, HE does more against German battleships than AP does. And probably give me only a 12 kilogram bursting charge on each one of those shells. Yeah, but also because I'm not penetrating at less than 7 kilometers. <laughs> that is... Huh? I threw a I big hit wave a coal bunker and my shell goes bye-bye. Are you sure it's not penetrating? What's it's done. Oh. It's not... I am basically broadside. You're broadside? Okay, so what to are you hitting? To the three... Three funnel thing. So or... it's, it's German, it's got three funnels, I don't know which one it is. You could just HE some of these cruisers. I, I could I HE some like of these cruisers, but the battleship is killing me. Yeah, that, that's Helgoland. Um, Helgoland has... What, what angle is he facing you at? Broadside. Yeah, about He's 20 degrees off broadside, I'd say, maybe 10. It's pretty flat. Broadside. Let's say the, the angle of fall is like... 10, 50 degrees, that's realistic for this gun. Oh god, there's another battleship next to you. Maybe, maybe, let's make it even steeper just to see if, like, that could affect it. It's that is a Helgoland, by the way. Yeah. Yep, last jerk is a Helga. But that, um, that lance kill was, uh, something. I'll yeah. tell you right now that you will penetrate, but when I'm taking a look at the kill, Icon, it says no damage to critical parts. You are over penetrating. Right. Uh, there are some sections where you won't penetrate, but that's very thin. And yeah, and then there are sections right next to those that you'll penetrate and yeah. strike uh, an important and, control. Mm, there's a hell of a get the I couldn't get the I've damage a thing to work a, yesterday. A Vondertan, a Kirov, a Chapayev, and something else shooting at me at the same time, so uh, my entire engineering section is out, as in, like, from the second magazine to the middle turrets is empty. I am now going to sink. Oh, yeah, they have, first they life, have definitely upped, they have upped flooding. That's good to know. Okay, so no, you, you, know, you know how fire tick was a couple of patches ago? Uh, oh, jeez. Yep. It's, it, it, it's still like 50, the way. 50%. 40%, 30, 20, Yeah, it's fast. 10, Especially if you're five, moving. One. Well, I couldn't even stop. I had no propulsion. I, uh, I have taken to just having auto-flooding repair on. Hmm. I take it you're shooting at Mamoda? Uh, I'm shooting at yes. Hello. Hey, there's Kaka. Hey, hey Kaka, you ready to flood? Mm -hmm. Basically, yeah, there's. It's kind of worrying. There's no more getting to 10% crew, hanging on for 5 minutes, and securing another 5 kills. It's still getting the 10% crew, you just flood and die. Well, I got Who cares to... about crew? It's flood meta. 
Oh, I got to below critical crew and then the ship uh, sank. Which well, was... Right side, I have Maria just in time for that, and SAP creates a lot of flooding. Yeah, you have... What, what's the difference between SAP and HE on that thing? Is it better just use HE? No, no, the SAP has more bursting charge and is SAP. So, so it, it has higher HE color. Um, penetrates a lot more, and still what's nice about SAP system. is that SAP also defaults to a better shatter breed, but it doesn't matter too much for naval mode. It does affect it still, because when you strike like direct modules, you will get that shatter preset affecting it. However, it's just, basically you just have an APHE shell with an HE filler. <laughs> with an HE shell filler, basically. Nice. So you get the best of both worlds. Speaking of, are you ready for Hugo next patch? Hmm. Oh, trick just lands to Spirit Love. Nice. Who needs red angels when you've got long lances? Red angels are uh, never gonna bad work right now. Even They've always they been do, bad. Even yeah. If they do fix it though, like I don't see them really being like. What's well, supposed to be like six of them kill a Sverdlov was the idea. Well, they don't have very much in the way of a warhead, and as. Gaijin mechanics well, say yeah. you have to have all of the explosive to kill anything. Well, if they ever get AP bombs working, then maybe they'll work. Not just AP bombs, I want to start... I'm drafting up a plan for low explosive mechanics to get added because, like, Hispanos, for example, are just in a sad state. And his Sapi, historically, the British Sapi use low explosives. Hmm. Uh, and yeah, it's just supposed to be... Um, damage reports from the U.S. Air Force, for example, and the technical research that they conducted, and uh, they determined like mine shells are overrated, basically. Um, too much high explosive doesn't create many the fires and doesn't create catastrophic breaches in fuel tanks or in other critical structures. You're um, losing because while you get a very high detonation velocity and as a result of the high brisons, you don't create very large scabs. It just tons of little tiny little shards. Yeah, we're about to lose a match. Oh jeez. Well, I should hopefully help with that. Of course, as soon as I put on boosters that I happen to have, we get a dumb big circle map where the German battleships delete everything. I mean, we deleted a lot as well. I mean, I got five kills. Which is pretty par for the course at the moment with Hugo. I got seven and then five assists. Hugo's, uh... Definitely a lot of fun. Although I yeah, currently back prefer Maria, but that's because Maria has SAP. Right, Kaka invite Opti. Well, at least the stock Opti grind's not so bad on them anymore. The that's stock true, grind yeah. on Yuga is good. Yes. Uh, I'm sixty-five thousand off Maria. Actually, how much research did I get that match? We lost. Bear in mind, and I got twenty-five thousand research. <laughs> Which is, oh, half of that on Tone, and the other half was modifications. Tone is going to be a useful asset for, uh, especially for EC, because of all that AA, you can actually provide decent escort duty yeah, to other battleships. Yeah, that's literally the only reason why I'm planning on replacing Momo with Tone. That's a good plan. Uh, it's AA. The only reason I'll, uh, my plan is essentially wait for Kumano uh, in her 1944 fit. Otherwise, just stick to Tone. You're going to be because waiting Kumano, a while. That's true. Kumano is oh. sort of like one of my more preferred heavy cruisers from Japan. Like mm. the main reason is just because her late fit. She was a Suzuya type hull. She was she was part of the second fleet of Singapore, meaning that she received a fire control radar, a blind fire control radar as well. So, oh, there's a new battle pass. Uh, not battle pass. There's a new dead block. Oh, already. Church has no available guide. ship. T-55. Oh, huh? that one. What? Your lineup screwed. Oh, it's doing that thing again, eh? Yeah. It's a weird bug. Also, Opti, there's a question for you. What's yeah. the random scaffolding Better? around the back of the funnel? Nope, you're showing as Russia with no lineup. I'm Russia with a lineup? Uh, everybody scaffolding on the back Change nation and come back and right. funnel. On Hugo. I'm just going to remove you from the squad. You must be a squad member to do the. Op yeah. Okay. And now I'm going to invite you back, and maybe that'll work. 
Yeah, the scaffolding around the rear funnel on Huga because it seems to stick out funny around the superstructure and prevents the number three turret from being able to fire very far forward. Oh, that's a bug, or rather, that's a model error. Um, number three turret is uh, the, the funnel area around the number three turret is wrong. I figured as much because that seems a bit dumb. <laughs> yep. Uh, so they kind of. I mean, I don't know. Hugo was released in a very half baked state as there was no. That's being kind. For it. Yeah, like. I, I was genuinely shocked when they added that. Like, kind of what what the fuck were they thinking? Wait, what's an AH64 